So I guess if I took this conveyor belt, then I'd be able to reach my intended destination originally, which I'm actually going to go ahead and do, so... Can I even destroy that from here? There we go. I'm just gonna be safe and look to see if the turret's activated. Nope! Alright, let's go ahead and ride the conveyor belt. Real quick, the doors are closing, so... Wait a second, the doors are closing. The doors are closing. I don't want the doors to be closed right now. Open up. Okay. Now, let's ride the conveyor belt so that way we actually have access from whence we came. Because I don't think I could take this conveyor belt back. I think it would just push me too far. If I tried to like crouch right there, it just wouldn't let me run anywhere. Actually, do I need to necessarily crouch? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, okay, well that... I guess they thought of these things ahead, and the turrets are very much indeed still down there, trying to get a piece of me. However, I will not condone this kind of behavior, so I'm just gonna throw a couple grenades down there. Maybe I'll eventually hit the turrets. That's what I like to assume anyway. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's just run back. And just go... Uh, to the conveyor belt once again, run the opposite direction because we are a rebel. The fire doors are closed. <laughs> All clear, sir, he says. I don't entirely agree with you. In fact, this area could use a little bit of cleaning up, in my opinion. Let's see where these guys are at. What? Oh, oh, okay. He's... I think he's up there. Yeah, he's running in the direction of where I'm supposed to go. They really love taking pot shots at me, don't they? Uh, okay, let's just... Yeah. Come on, come on, damn it. Maybe I can get him to run over here by just sitting here and waiting. That's, that's the dream, anyway. Yeah, yeah, how about that? He actually listened to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a little bit of a coward when it comes to these guys, evidently enough, but I don't exactly have anything that's, like, long-range at the moment. God, I don't like fighting the military. These guys are, like, some of the worst enemies in the game. Okay, he's up there. Um... Come on. Come on. There we go. I think that takes care of most of them. Let's just sprint. Just to be safe, and if not, I'll go ahead and take another look in just a second. Let me go ahead and click save. Yeah, I guess there were only three guards in this room. Alright, that's fine by me. Anything else? Fire door? Closed fire door? Can I get any more magazines? Probably not. Pff, he's just sitting there. L look at this slacker. Did that... Okay. <laughs> uh, I was a little confused for a second, but I'm pretty sure my bullet was just hitting an object in front of him. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's closed. Probably no secrets for me this time around. What a shame. Oh, god, there's another one out there. Come on, poke your head out. I am down to one health. This is a good situation to be in. Yes. You got Freeman indeed. Freeman had no chance against you. Let's, um, let's try that again, hopefully this time without error. So first of all, walk up the stairs, go down to iron sights, and then shoot this guy in the face. Did I kill him? Did I win yet? I'm not sure. I think he might have ducked around the corner. Nope. I'm quite convinced I killed that man, and he had no chance of survival to begin with. Hmm. Okay. Nine health. Nine is a pretty good number, in my opinion. God damn it, there are so many military guards in here, and I have such little health. Like, what's a guy to do in this sort of situation, man? What's a boy to do? I really hope that actually hits something. What are they say Why are they saying, like, do it? Like, what are they talking about? I'm genuinely curious, because... <laughs> that guy's arm is flowing. I'm genuinely curious what they mean. Like, are they saying, do it, kill Freeman? Or are they saying, you know, just do it, man. Just get this over with. 
shoot us, we don't care. We're just a bunch of enemies programmed into a game. We don't actually feel pain. I'm sort of half shooting blindly whenever I use iron sights with this gun. I'll, I'll be honest about this. Okay, so let's try not to make that same mistake of ignoring the fact that there's another guy over there. Presumably, yeah, there is. Where is he? I know he's... Yeah, I know he's up there. We both know he's up there. He doesn't really have a choice. He has to take the long way around to reach me. Okay. Did I at least quick save before I got shot to death again? Yes. I did. Okay. So he's still up there. Now, let's just run under the bridge. Movement! Oh my god, it's Freeman, you guys! You're dead now! God, that was just horrible. I really, really wish I were a little more beefy, but... Oh, are you kidding me? No, I, the last thing I'm going to die to is you, of all things. I just, I nearly got eaten by another one. That was not pleasant at all. But thankfully, I found a health station! Not very much health, but it'll do for now, I guess. I actually wonder if the enemies will actually raid from the health stations, because that would be kind of interesting behavior. A little annoying to deal with, but it, it would be pretty cool. I would support it. Oh, by the way, guys, I I have this SMG that I just don't like use at all. That's probably one thing I should use at some point, but I don't think it does very adequate damage against the guards, and because it has like a ridiculous spread on it. Those are just my concerns! Oh boy. Oh, but. I. You know, picking up that health, I might as well not have, because. Just look at this. I'm already down to 12 again. It's just stupid. Ugh, 8. 8 is a pretty great number at the same time. Okay, in case I do die, at least I know these enemies are here and I'll be able to assess the situation properly next time. If not, then this is going to be a really, really long episode of me just dying to military guards over and over again. I think I cleared them out. Alright, those were probably the guards that I expected to be down here, but no, they were all up on the railings for some odd reason or another. I can't explain why that is, it's just enemy behavior, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, I meant to shoot that. My bad, my bad. I just meant to continue sprinting, but I accidentally confused my sprint button for my firing key, which is probably not. That's probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire playthrough career. <laughs> Anything else? Ooh, health station. Give me quite delicious HEV suit energy. Probably not much else, however. So I have 30 suit energy, I have this elevator, and I have 100 health. Okay, let's go get this over with. Oh god, we're actually approaching the part where this entire playthrough is going to be completely blind, because... As I've said a while ago, I did sort of get into playing Black Mesa a couple of years ago, and I got around this far, and this was the point of time where the game just became too laggy for me to even play on my poor laptop, and I didn't really make much progress at this point. I just, I gave up, so... Now, we're going to have to fight this in this area, which presumably has about maybe eight military guards. Oh god, this is gonna be a lot of fun, considering the weapons that I'm using right now. I have absolutely no shotgun, but I do have an SMG, so you know, that's all fine and dandy. Oh boy, I, I'm not looking forward to this. Let's just go ahead and quick save. Oh, they're not even paying attention, that's perfect. Okay, that's two down. They're bombing the place. Yeah, I'm well aware of the fact that this was also part of the original Half-Life, is that they just start to bomb the entire facility. Oh boy. I really hope that they don't actually penetrate the ceiling, because that would be kind of sad. I would have to reconsider my course of action. There's lots of little places in nooks and crannies where I can just hide, but I don't know what that's going to do for me in the long run. Hmm. Think that took care of them? 
Uh, there's one all the way out there. Let me see if I can actually hit him. I don't believe I did. Let's take the time to just take over and reload our bolt action firing gun and then we're gonna go back outside and then deal with the military guards. Also, I keep actually trying to use iron sights on this weapon when that's actually not an option because that shoots grenades instead. I don't know why I keep making this mistake, but I am. Okay, this is just asking for trouble. <laughs> Thank you for standing next to that explosive box so that way I may shoot it and you may just have your ragdoll collapse towards the ground. That was super entertaining in my opinion. Do not drop. Can I open any of these boxes at all? Are there any boxes in this game I can actually open that doesn't involve using a crowbar? I actually am quite curious. Oh, I do have these clips right here. I guess I'll go ahead and pick up one. I mean, that's just another one for the party. I don't see any more military guards out here. You know, at least I'm somewhat surviving a little bit better than I did previously, so... This is, this is a pretty good start. You know, I'm glad that... For one thing, the helicopter cannot shoot through this garage, because that would be pretty terrible. I bet there's someone actually hiding behind that box, it really wouldn't surprise me. Um, or they're just all behind the tower. There's the helicopter, it's... it's flying away. Alright. Oh! Okay! Uh... I don't think I want to go standing out there anytime soon, given the circumstances. Oh boy. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Ah. Maybe I could just check this area out to see if there's anything of particular interest before I get gunned down. Because th that seems like the kind of thing that you want to check out, you know? Alright, let's just um, do what the game suggests we do and head inside this shelter. You know, shoot this guy, maybe. Can I even shoot this guy? I probably shouldn't stand here right now. This is not the best idea I had in mind for a while. Pick up the soon energy. Let's get out of here. This is not as safe as we once presumed it was. Boxes. More boxes to break for the collection. Oh boy. This looks like just a barrel of fun. Oh god, they are on grappling hooks! Innovative technology using grappling hooks, man! Whoa, that was spooky. Way too spooky for me. I think it would be best that we leave this place and see what is inside this ventilation shaft, which is no doubt going to be filled with head crabs. That alone wouldn't surprise me. So I'm gonna have my revolver on standby for this situation. And while there's a loaded screen right here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink. Thankfully my voice has not run dry just yet, although a little bit of a drink would not do any damage. It does help, in fact, so that way I can maybe mellow things out a little bit. Are there going to be any more military guards down here? This is of the utmost importance to me. No, just headcrafts. We're back to the alien shenanigans. This, I honestly don't mind. But just to be safe, we're going to support the revolver a little bit. Wasn't I there earlier? I think I was. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's pro That's probably not, like, actually part of where I am right now. I think it's just there to add attention to detail, but it looks like a place where I was before. Oh wait, no, maybe it is part of the same area. That head crab crawled right through a box, which isn't solid. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, maybe this is actually part of the original area where I had ascended from. Possibly. Hmm. Alright, a little bit of interesting trivia right there. The fact that this Glock has 17 bullets inside the magazine kind of upsets me. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I think it would be nice to have a number that's a little bit more even. Huh? I thought I heard a noise. Now I'm scared. Oh, um, <laughs> that was a little bit of dialogue right there. Alright then, well, we have nowhere else to go, presumably. Ooh, lifting made safe and easy. He's showing you how to properly lift a box. You see, you don't bend your back, you bend your legs. You lift with your legs. It's a very pro strategy that you should know to use in real life. Well, 
That was a really good delivery of that line right there. Why are you even- why are you even exhausted, man? To be perfectly honest, it looked like you were perfectly fine. Or it sounded like you were perfectly fine with just shooting that scientist. And his 11 other friends. But I- I won't- I won't question it, you know, let's- let's just... Ignore the fact that he gets exhausted more easily compared to other people. Oh, hi. Well, you're in here. so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging by your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? No, of course now not. Look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science Ooh. team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. There's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. I have a shotgun now! I am never going to stop using this weapon. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's actually go ahead and test and see if this shotgun is as good as I had hoped it would be. It's kind of ba too bad that I can't go back through that security door. Can I open it up again? Out of curiosity? No. No, it's locked forever. That's a little bit of a shame, but whatevs. You know, I could deal with it because I have a shotgun now. And the shotgun implies that I have to shoot something with it immediately. First chance I get, I'm going to shoot something with a shotgun because I am way too happy to have a shotgun in this game. Let's go. <laughs> I got the revolver, I got the shotgun. Life is good, man. Life is good.